So I'm always paying attention to the comments you all leave on my videos. And despite the fact that I try to be super meticulous when talking about my release strategy, there's no one size fits all for how you promote your song. You really need to build promotions around your strengths and what works in each music genre, and for that matter, for each artist, is always different. But by overwhelming demand, I keep hearing that you want to know exactly what to post each day to tell stories around your music and post to social media. So in this video, I'm going to give you a plan with some theory on how I would promote my joke band Incel Hypebeast's new hit song, Beer Pong With Myself. And I will show you what I would post each day of the single promotion to be as effective as possible so you can draw from this and learn how to promote yourself. <laughs> I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to grow their fan base from 0 to 10,000 fans, and this is Museformation. So before we get started, let me start with my normal caveats. You're going to enjoy this video and get way more from it if you watch the playlist that has my method for how to release music so you get as many fans as possible, and this playlist has a ton of tips on what we're going to discuss that makes all this promotion work a lot better. It will be linked at the end of this video if you do just want to click it then. Okay, so let's make sure we got what we need before we ever start promoting. First and most importantly, I would suggest that you have the next two songs you're going to promote produced, mixed, and mastered, and that you have single screen videos, lyric videos, and music videos all ready for those next two in addition to the one we're about to be promoting. For everyone who thinks this is unrealistic, this video is exactly for you. This is because on this channel we're always talking about how consistent sustained promotion is one of the main keys to promoting your music. And the way the consistent part of that usually fails is that you don't have a ton of content already made so that you're ahead when things go wrong. Truly this is the most important factor of what we are about to do. This means when you have a bad week because that e-girl you've been messaging turns out to be the guy you called a racial slur on a video game stream and karma serves you what you deserve, you're still of your promotions when you're laying in bed depressed crying your eyes out. Hopefully once you get out of bed from the heartbreak you can stay on track with your music promotions because you were so prepared in advance and had all this content already done to make all of your promotions super easy and so you can react to the flood of comments you're getting. That way you won't lose out on how much consistency really helps you promote your music and helps perceive you as someone who takes your music seriously so they give you opportunities since so much of what we are doing also is that people give opportunities to people who are making big consistent moves. So let's say you have the following ready. Your next song mastered, the single screen video, which for anyone who doesn't know since it's the most commented thing in this channel, a single screen video is literally just a video with one screen like the album cover. Okay. okay, you have the single screen video, the lyric video, and the music video made for them. And then you have a bunch of art, photos, behind the scenes shot footage, and other photos that you can promote to tell stories around. This means if you have all this, you're ready to promote your song. So we're gonna release your song on Wednesday. And why Wednesday, you may ask? I am often asked what day to release music on, and my answer is always Tuesday through Thursday. Your favorite artists flood the zone with music on Fridays, and your music is not going to be the fix someone is looking for, since why do they need to search for new music when their fave is already putting out new music on that day? Saturday and Sunday, less people are on the internet and social media, so that's a bad idea to release then, and people are listening to those new releases that came out on Friday. Monday, everyone's busy catching up on bullshit. So Tuesday through Thursday is your best bet in my opinion. I should say, you will notice this promotion plan is much more of a daily putting a small rock to build a big pile rather than an all day grind. Release day and music video release day are the only two days I really advise flooding social media and your community. And instead, all the other days is just steady reminders and storytelling that help remind people to listen and help give you deeper bonding to the song. This lets your audience not be overwhelmed with your presence and gives you time to work on building community and keep writing songs. And this promotion plan starts on the day of releasing your song. I know some of the absolute hacks who do these YouTube release plans do 14 days of promoting your song before anyone can hear it. But as I explain in my video on why teasing your song is dumb, the plans these YouTube gurus aka hacks are giving you are because they have worked as wedding DJs most of their life not actual music marketers. If you promote a song no one can hear for 14 days you don't build momentum. You annoy everyone and if you don't believe me watch my video on teasers which is linked in the description. Okay so it's release day and you're now going to put out your song on all the streaming services and release a single screen video to YouTube. Release day is your day to make a lot of noise. And I'm actually going to graze over this day a bit since I made a whole video on how to make a huge splash 
on release day. And to go over it in this video would put another extra 10 minutes on this already long video. If you want to watch that video right now, it's on the screen now or in the description below. But I'm never going to say this better than I did there. So hit the books or uh, videos. So on to day two. This is where most of you already begin to fall off. It's time to tell a story about the song on Instagram. We got to keep this going and maintain interest. Remember the game is to keep any conversations around the story of the song you're telling. And you're going to try to make this a day where the socially skilled person in your group can stay up on comments and keep your posts spreading. I want to make a note about what so many people mess up on day two. With any luck, people will mention your song in their stories, but try to avoid oversharing those. And instead, only reward the best few. And if you worry about disappointing fans who shared your songs on stories, instead, all those people who didn't make the best story to share of your song, I would send them an audio message in their DMs and personally thank them since this will be just as good, if not better than a share, and ramp up their enthusiasm to you even more. Day three. It's now Friday and you're fighting against all the other acts making music. So now is a great time to update your Spotify artist playlist and add some new releases that's out and promote that that playlist is now updated. Since after all, Friday is the day to listen to new music. Let's tweet out and share that playlist and tag the small groups on it on Twitter and Insta. And if you don't know about this technique that I use to build fans that's super effective with Spotify, the video I made in it is linked now or in the cards. And on this day, after the song has been out, I add the single screen video to my playlist of all my singles on YouTube and share that on YouTube to remind people they can listen to it. I should say that's in a YouTube story. Day four and five, I'm going to combine since it's the weekend. Since as we said, less people are on the internet and social media, so the weekend isn't as effective. So I try to keep this promo light. And one of the reasons I like releasing a song on Tuesday or Wednesday instead of Friday is you don't get the uphill battle of having day two and three of promotion beyond the weekend. Now is a great time to do some personality posts. And even if they are from the past, show yourself in your Insta stories and share the pics on Twitter and caption it with stream my new song. So for me, beer pong with myself or put the song as the background music in your IG stories. We're trying to make content here that's fun for those who follow you with less over promotion since we shouldn't waste time doing pure promotion. Let's remember this. The biggest thing people don't get about music is that what it really is. Music is a mood altering drug that makes you feel a way you'd rather be feeling. So the key to these posts is to show people how they could be feeling if your track was playing. If it's a chill classical piano piece, maybe post a beautiful video of some rain on a glass. And if it's named something like beer pong with myself, it's time to post a rager of you getting fucking slizzard, bro. Day six, let's make a Facebook post and we're going to share it on your Instagram stories with a picture of it since we want to always be reminding your fans that, that they can get more of you or follow you on their preferred platform, especially if it gets them off of Facebook to Twitter, Insta, or TikTok. But reposting a tweet on your Instagram story is a great way to drop a hint that your fans should be following you on Twitter as well. Day seven, we now need to shed more light on the story. This can be behind the scenes video or talking more about the story of the song. As I told you, you should write the stories you have down in five different ways. It's time to tell the story of the song another way. So let's post that story and then put it on some of our socials. I know some of you are new here and are like, what the fuck is this dude talking about with stories? Storytelling is how you actually blow up on social media. And if you don't get that, watch my playlist on it, which is linked in the description. Day eight, your song has now been out for a week. And if you really want to get engagement, tell people something vulnerable they can latch onto and tie it back to the song. For example, when I wrote beer pong with myself, I realized I could be doing things alone that I thought I could only do with other people. I often feel like a loser if I don't have anything to do on a Friday night, but I've now learned it's okay to be alone and play beer pong with myself. See, that was vulnerable. Also, if you're enjoying this video, now is a perfect time to click that like button and get subscribed. Way to ruin a vulnerable moment with a plug. Day nine, this is an important day. Let's find some other ways to contextualize the video. Grab some imagery from the music video or lyric video and tease it. And I know some of you are saying, Jesse, you're the guy who just said never tease. But actually, I'm the guy who says don't tease something people can't latch onto. People can listen to your song right now, so teasing that there will be a lyric video soon is just another way to keep people engaged and know that there's more coming. Your song is out, and they can latch onto it and get addicted to it. And you're just mildly mentioning that there's a lyric video coming, so if people are vibing on the song, they now know they can go deeper soon with the music video and start feeling a visual that enhances it. Day 10, it's Friday, and I would make one of those Spotify music and talk episodes and play some music you like and talk about it. Be sure to do just like I suggested in my video on these music and talk episodes, which is linked in the description, and tag the smaller groups you play in it on Instagram and Twitter. Hell, even Facebook. 
Show some personality and let people bond with you and hear some new music. Day 11 to 12. It's the freaking weekend, and it's time to do what we did last weekend some more. But here's going to be my little tweak. If you happen to be up late around 10 to 12 p.m., make sure you post your song then. Many people are alone and vibing, and one of the weirdest phenomenons I've seen when I've tracked clicks is you can get weird spikes off sharing at this time for people who are just hanging solo since no one else is promoting their music on the weekend late at night. Since there's so many people who are doing just what I talked about in my new song, Beer Pong With Myself. See what I did there? Day 13, another Monday. Now is enough time that people are hopefully are vibing on your song hard. Ask for a follow with a hyper follow link with some idiolect of your own. And note, idiolect is not you talking like an idiot. It means the unique way in which you speak. Try to capitalize on people's enthusiasm and get that Spotify follow so you get a more release radar playlist when your next song drops. Also, if you've had any press by now, this is a great time to share it as you've probably gotten some momentum and you can really try to convert those people who aren't taking it seriously that they should listen to this song. Day 14, the stories you shared day one, let's bring them back a variation on them and change some of the words and details and try to keep getting some traction here with the story and tell more of it so people can keep going deeper with you. If you're a meme person, let's make some memes about the song. If you're a visuals person, let's sign some beautiful images and put your song behind it and keep giving people new ways to feel the emotion of the song. Day 15, it's time to release your lyric video or visualizer. So let's talk about the visuals or the mood of the song. Single out some lyrics and expand upon them. And if you don't feel like explaining your lyrics, talk about lyrics in other people's songs and draw it back to your song like I do here. Day 16, it's time to remind people you just put up the lyric video and then drop it in the playlist of your own discography on Spotify and let everyone see that playlist link. And also do the same in your YouTube discography playlist. Two days after the lyric video is dropped, I replace it in my playlist and talk about another song that my fans hopefully enjoyed. Since nothing else gets people listening to a song like thinking they're going to get an emotional feeling from a song they already liked. Day 17, it's Friday. It's time to share your playlist of music that you've been enjoying of artists similar to you and tag them in it just like we did in the previous Friday. Day 18 and 19. Same drill as the other weekends, but this time we're going to schedule a tweet in Instagram for super early in the morning on Sunday and try to catch those early birds who are up reading social media on their phone. Use the schedule function in Facebook Creator Studio for Instagram and Facebook, and Twitter can be scheduled using TweetDeck, and let's try to catch a different crowd than we've been catching. Day 20, let's do an Instagram Live with everyone who worked on the song with you or another artist if you do it all yourself and get someone else's audience to get hip to you. The idea is their followers will see you talking and hopefully discover you and you should definitely play the song in your stream. Day 21, get creative here. Let's find a fun way to talk about your song that's different than the other ways. It could be a story from recording, Wikipedia, something you reference in the lyrics. Talk about some aspect of it you haven't before. Day 22, let's zone in on a lyric from the video and tell a story about it. In fact, let's Google variations on the lyric and make some jokes about other songs that have lyrics similar to yours and maybe find some playful way of mentioning the lyrical theme you have and how other people have talked about it. Day 23, let's yet again tell one of those variations on the main story of the song. As I have said, you should have five ways of telling the story of the song. It's time to call on another one. Day 24, it's Friday again. Let's again update your music and talk episodes. Maybe bring on a guest and try to get their audience to hear your new songs and some other music similar to yours. Day 25 and 26. Yep, it's the weekend. But to change up the weekend, we're going to ask your followers a question to interact with on Instagram and promote the song and the answers. Do a Q&A and try to get some fun fan bonding going and do whatever you can with using Instagram's functions to try to drive some engagement and play around with this on the weekend while doing all the other things we talked about doing on other weekends. Day 27, let's do a flashback to your past and put it in context with your new song and talk about how far you've come. People love a hero's journey for musicians. Day 28, it's time to preview the music video with an image. Just put up something that's striking and remind people to listen to the song and hopefully get psyched to watch the music video. Day 29, release the music video and go wild like it's release day. Seriously, treat this the way I suggested in my release day video and really bring the song the full promotion it deserves. It's now been a month since you last promoted the song heavily and did a day of really nonstop promotion, and this is the best time to do it since music videos offer the best way to interact with a song. Day 30, we just had the biggest event of this single release, 
the moment we've been building up to. So it's time to go wild. Let's really push this thing and be shameless. Two days after the music video drops, I add the song to my music videos playlist and take the single screen and the lyric video out of any playlist I need to. And then I tell a story about the video in my YouTube stories. Day 31, it's time to update your similar artist playlist on Spotify again and tag the new artists in it. Day 32 to 33, if you've captured some of your behind the scenes footage from your music video, share those over the weekend and in your stories and tweet them out here or there and tell a little story behind them. Day 34, today let's show some interactions if there's fun YouTube or Instagram interactions where you show personality or shed light on the song, let's post those to Twitter and Instagram, just like I show on the screen here. Day 35, your fans have now had a week to watch your video. So tonight we're going to go on Instagram live with everyone in the video, the director, any actors, a photographer was involved, etc. Invite them on one at a time and talk about the song and what else they are working on. And most of all, play the damn video. Day 36, your video has been out for a week and let's talk about one of the visuals in it or give a glimpse on what's in it and make a post about it. Day 37. Let's show a picture of you hard at work on an upcoming song, but now let's play up how this latest song is just the beginning and how this song you're promoting is influencing the new one. Day 38, and I know you're going to be shocked here, but we're going to do another music and talk set and keep pushing your new song next to music similar to you so we can hopefully get some of those similar artist fans to hear your new song and build bonds with existing fans. Seriously, it only takes like an hour to do one of these. And it's such great promotion. And then you can make a graphic for it on Instagram to promote it. Day 39 and day 40. I know, trust me, this is getting long. But let's just mix up some of those techniques we did on the other weekends. Look through your analytics and see if those morning posts or those late night posts work better than others. And let's do what worked best again and push this music video. Day 41. Let's be sure you've been posting some behind the scenes stuff to your YouTube stories. And if you haven't done that, let's do that now. Day 42, let's do the ultimate internet thirst trap. Post a picture from when you were younger. And for the record, this is a picture from the first and only time I've ever played beer pong. Day 43, so we either start over again right here or we release an alternate version of your song and keep promoting that alternate version in the way we did in previous weeks. For the last two weeks, promote your new acoustic version, remix, feature version of the song, or whatever you're doing to change the songs with all the techniques I just did and sustain this until the next song comes out two weeks later. If you're not going to do an alternate version of the song, you could always pick from the last 45 days of promotion ideas I just gave you and keep pushing the song till you release the next one. But the key is to just keep going and show people you're taking this song seriously and remind them to listen to it. Okay. If you have further questions, this video shows I'm listening. I plan on doing a live stream where I answer your questions on this video a few weeks from now. Be sure to leave comments and I'll answer them in that live stream. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe and be sure to turn on those notifications for my videos so you know when I drop one. If you look on the screen now, there's a playlist on how to get your music noticed that has a bunch more videos just like this one. As well, there's two others, one on how to go from zero to 10,000 fans and one on how to blow up on Spotify. Thanks for watching.